I got some dirty shit to pick up at the dry clean. I got a tidy bitch to pick up, I got love Selena. Shady hop up in the whip, but I ain't never seen it. Shady love the way I whip it in a two seater. What's going on guys, Boston Go 32 Gang, back today, we're not in any any sort of thing, basically you guys know how I have done a lot of videos on a lot of custom sirens for L, uh, for 5M, uh, especially the ones that I use in LSLA, um, you know, a lot of, I've had a lot of requests about this, about how you use the siren packs, now I've had to go and check and see what's working and what's not, for the, sir, for the new custom sirens that I'm using, you need the archive folder once again. Um, I know you guys can remember the video that was posted out, I think it may have been two years ago. So anyways, en enough chit chat, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to skip, let's get all this started. So alrighty, so make sure, as per usual guys, and I say this in every video that I have uh, have ever told anyone, even for the Rockstar Edition 2 guys, please, for the love of God, please make a backup of your standard GTA 5 before you ever mod it. Okay, because if you screw up, you've got to go back through and reinstall it. And I know from Rockstar accounts, it is absolutely hard. So, anyways, enough. Well, right, let's get into this. So, as last time, you want to make a archive folder. Now, I still use this because, you know, I'm, you know, this is me. You guys will gain the six files that I've uh, displayed right here. But what we're going to do, we go ahead first. I mean, I can even leave the link in the description for these five files for you guys. Now, whether or not you guys will be able to download them in the end is a big question. <coughs> you will need also your command prompt as well. You also need whatever sirens or custom sounds you guys are making. So when upon your archive folder, you go ahead and you paste your archive folder in there. Everything that I'm using will be in this link in the description. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to do the postal codes for anybody who is wondering how to use the postal codes. Well, yeah, you guys get what I mean. <laughs> Especially for the LSLA members, you know, we're going to we're going to show, show you guys how to install the custom. Postal codes. Um, yeah, no, we'll add it there. We go. <laughs> Shut up, boss. You're half asleep now. Alrighty. So, well, before you want to do anything to do anything, make sure you got your archive fixed in your archive folder. You want to have your command prompt up, like I have told you, and you want to type in archive. All right, I'm going to sound ridiculous doing this. Okay, so you want to type in archive slash space, and you want to type in fetch. Upon clicking on this, you want to start up your main Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Upon that, on the, I think it, the lovely screen being where you choose whether or not you want to go into multiplayer or single player, before you are clicking the single player, you want to shift tab out, you want to either bring up your lovely start window, like so, or you want to, you know, shift tab. You want to hit enter on the command prompt, on the command prompt and then you want to click on, get back into GTA 5 as fast as you can, and you want to click to click under the story mode. Now this will t will take time depending on your system or your internet. I think it goes on system. Last time I did it, the system uh, it was shocker. But I mean, you guys know that you know basically what yourself getting into. The whole bit, people to start start appearing up here. Holy random codes. Don't mind if you you know lose a bit of screen. Just try not to play your games. Try to make sure, just try to make sure your game does not you know kick you out, or you know you're actually you know your game is working properly. After that, you'll exit out of that, exit out of your GTA 5. You will have all these six lovely folders. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize that for now. And we'll close out of that. So for your first file, you want to come over to your open IV, which will also be in the link in the description. You don't want to go into your mods. So mods, no, no. Mods is a big and no, 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 no go. You want to come in over to your standard X64 audio SFX. I should really stop sounding like a freaking retard right now. Um, and then you want to go into Resident. You want to extract, you want to export the open formats as a .oac file for vehicles. You want to put it on your desktop. So we'll give that a second to do its thing. It should give us the vehicle OAC. Yep, yep. All right, so we open up that. And now for your lovely skid tires, which I will leave in the description, you want to go ahead and highlight them all, except for the installation guide. You want to go in here. Once you hit replace, and then you exit out that one. All right, we'll worry about the gun sounds in a second. So for the American sirens, I know a lot of people are asking, how do you get the American sirens? All right, so for the air horn, you can have the air horn. Do not go into the e EQ2B. They actually literally break. You want to grab the files with juice horn siren sounds, and you want to put them straight into your vehicle's file. Don't worry about bringing them to the desktop. Power call, you want to bring that over as well. And for the exactly for the Q2B. 
Now for your fire, as you guys can see right there, it says to replace, which is also the standard sirens. You want to put it all in capitals, fire truck, uh, fire underscore truck underscore horn. That is now your truck, fire truck horn. For the Yelp, you want to rename this to siren underscore fire truck underscore quick underscore 01. Now I'm still trying to work out if this is working properly for my fire trucks. I don't know yet. I'm still working on it. <laughs> and then for the QTB, you want to go siren underscore whoops fire truck underscore whale underscore 01. I made that sound so fucking messed up then, but anyway. Make it out the readme. Always use, use the readme. And then you basically move that to your vehicles. Yeah, you think you're done. No, you're not done. You're not done just yet. You've got a long way to go. Close that out. You want to come over to your lovely siren pack. Whatever sirens you're using, it doesn't have to be the one that I've left in link. You got The ones I'm using is the Federal Signal. Now, especially if you, know, if, you, if you want to check, just go ahead, you know, fire them up. You now you get your, um... You now you, you, you just click on the sounds. You know, it'll tell you what sound you're using. Yep. Okay, that's weird. So, yep, you want to drag all these files of intuitive vehicles. You want to place the three that are there. Why did it say three? That was... Hmm, that's weird. Okay. You want to exit out of that, and now basically you have your files. file. So you want to hit Enable Edit Mode. Do not, and I mean do not click on Show in, in Mods folder. You want to come up to New Input Open Formats. Click on the vehicle OAC, do not click on any other stupid OAC thing or whatever the hell you, you know, if you accidentally click on something, just hit yeah, cancel slash again, trust me. And hit open. And you know, you'll have the cancel option. See, it will have your lovely OAC. Why the hell is that coming up on my C, C drive? That explains why C drive's always full. And you want to hit OK. As you can see, it has now customized the lovely, lovely sightings in. But we are not done just yet, as you guys will want to see. So for the gun sounds that are in the link in the description, you want to hit on the optionals, RGB, RGS. Now this is where it's going to get a little tricky for some learners. So you want to go ahead, enable edit mode. You want to hit tools, package installer. Click on the sounds. Whatever you do, what I don't don't do what I did once, where I accidentally clicked that instead of clicking this. So you want to hit, put that into your main GTA 5 folder. You know, it will bring up the custom siren pack, siren, uh, sound, uh, custom sounds that I had. You hit close, that is done. Alright. Now this is where this file and your archive fix, where the uh, crap did I put it? Uh, that's right, I closed it, didn't I? Yes, I did. Alright, so you want to bring up, back up your archive folder. Now I don't know if you actually have to, I don't know, this is just the way I do it. You want to come into your x64, into your standard GTA 5 folder. Not, not your mods. <laughs> Not your mods, no no, mods is a no no. I'm gonna hit X64, audio, oh yeah, you can also get rid of these two, two, uh, two files, I forgot. SFX, you wanna come down to your residential. Now, you want to drag and drop. And look at that, modified, modified package has been done and now go ahead and sit into key, uh, whatever key. You wanna come further down to weapons player RPF, copy that into your archive folder and now it has been modified. <coughs> Now for the gun sounds, there are still two more files that you will need. So you want to come back out to your main GTA 5 folder. You want to go into the update folder, not the mods. Don't. Mods is a no-no. Go into your update, X64, DLC packs. Now this is where the two files you will need to do. So you want to click on MP Apartment, which is Multiplayer Apartment DLC. You want to drag, you want to drag the DLC RPF, and that one is modified. So that one, I think, is the the, uh, the DB shotgun and the revolver. So this one's the shotgun. And you want to come back out. No, that's the revolver. Sorry. You want to come out to your back out to your DLC list. You want to come down to MP Lowrider 2. Drag this DLC file into your archive. And you hit enter. So pretty much, you know, simple, standard, easy stuff. And then you know, basically, from here, you guys are physically done. You now you don't have to worry about anything else. So. You guys have seen me use use my sirens, my guns, but just to make sure that you know we are running it, um, I'm also going to do postals first. Uh, nuts. Okay. Um, so with the five M. Oh shit. Hang on. Didn't I have? Okay. Um, hang on. Give me two seconds. Uh, natural revision. I want that one, and I want five uh, M postals. Shoot. What from the one? That one. That's right. Okay. <laughs> I got mixed up for a second. 
Right, with the postals, guys, I've noticed I screwed up on, a, on the last video with the postals. Um, I noticed I didn't have them properly. So for the for the postals, you want to go into File Application Data. You want to go into Client Sign Request, File Application Data. You want to drag the Citizen Folder right over. So you guys are also wondering, hey, boss, how, how do you get the YTDFs? You know, you know, displayed on the map. For that, you want to come into uh, YTDs. You want to come into Citizens. You want to come into Shoot. Now I forget where they are. Common Data. Grab uh, platform data. Ah, yeah, that's right. So you want to come into platform data. Now the CDI images will not be there, so you will have to make a folder called CDI images, and then you will need to create a folder called Scale Form Gene Generic. You want to click into that, and you want to drag whatever postal. Well, yeah, what, what really whatever postals you have in there. With me, thanks for helping me out. Yeah, no problem, Jack. You'll see this video very soon, my friend. Um, now I've got an extra file added in here somewhere. Uh, I just need to find it. I think I have it here somewhere. Uh, Postal uh, realistic street map. I don't know. I know I've got an extra file added somewhere. So basically, once all that's in there, so you know, basically standard. You know, you guys will have until map underscore two. Where me, I've got somehow I've got added extras. I've got to go and find out which one I was using. So you know, I apologise, guys. And after that, you want to come out to back out to your main 5M Citizens folder. You can go ahead and close your own postals down for the lovely NVR graphics I'm using, even though they were playing up tonight. You want to come into optional add-ons. You want to scroll down, depending if you've got it like that or you're like that. If you've got it like me, where it's 1 to, 1 to 20. You want to come to the 5M Natural Vision pack. You want to go main package. You want to drag the add-ons package into here. Now, guys, be careful upon doing this because sometimes it'll crash. So, I have, you know, you can go ahead and add your optionals. So, I mean, I think the standard files come with base extra, extra, extra uh, carols. Yep. All right. So, for the pack, extra packages I'm using, you want to use, you know, such as brighter emergency lights, NVR. You go ahead and drag that over. I also got to, I got to take out my field of depth. Uh, brighter nights, you can add that if you want to still be able to see, but you know I'll, you know, guys how I know how I am, I like to not be able to see. Uh, enhanced motion blur, I probably wouldn't recommend it, it's, ugh, it's weird. Uh, for the, uh, I think it's the depth of field, I forget which one I'm running, you know, if you got like, you know, 5k resolution or 4k, you know, top seer. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just, that's a bit fucked up. Alright, so, you know, once you've done all that, pretty much, you guys are ready to go for 5M. And I think that's pretty much it, actually. So with all that, guys, you know, I better show you guys also the plugins folder. So with the plugins folder, I mean, you guys can go ahead. You know, everyone, every every single every single stooge knows about this. You know, for the plugins, you want to make sure you got to create. You ha this will not come in there. You need to create it. You know, if you're on a server with you know, roleplay and you know who have trainers and stuff, you know, you basically want to make sure you got you know create that plugin folder. All right. So the ones you will need. Why do I, why do I still have advanced hook in there? I gotta get rid of that. All right, so you will need the Lambda menu. With the Lambda menu, it also comes with the iConfig. You want to make sure you put the iConfig in your main GTA 5 folder. I oh, know <laughs> GTA, your main five application folder. Come back in your plugins. Make sure you got open interiors, PLD, script hook V. You don't want the input that's added into it. You want to grab script hook D, uh, script hook V dot net, and then the the two dot DLL, and you want to grab your trainer. You know, you guys can probably already guess how to use the trainers. So, once all that is done, I'm going to go ahead and turn my uh, sexy controller on. Hopefully the recording goes. Okay, that was retarded. Okay. So, basically, you know, everything will fire up, you know, because NVIDIA doesn't want to, you know, skip the screens and stuff. So, I was like, screw it. You know, it fired up. So, hopefully it works for you guys. If it doesn't, just go ahead and let me know. But anyways, guys... Do not forget to hit that. Do not forget to smash that like like button. Do not forget to comment. Do not forget to subscribe. If you feel like donating to the channel, you know, go ahead and do do so. You know, it will, it will help out, help me out gratefully, especially with all the stuff that's going on in my life, especially with my son who you know, has a big disability. Um, you know, it also help bring new equipment into the into this uh, Dingo software. We are going to be getting on schedule for streaming, so let, go ahead. You know, follow me on Discord and keep up to date with the latest and greatest and also come and chill out and chat with the others but other than that don't forget to come and join us over at LSLA if you ever want to roleplay out 
you ever want to see yourselves even get recorded, you know, everybody who's over in LSLA right now are probably thinking, you know, boss, you're an idiot. So, you know, if you guys want to go ahead and come over and roleplay with us, just let us know. Just come over and join our server. Server is open. We have three active servers, which are absolutely packed tonight, as you guys would have seen from the stream. <coughs> but anyways, till the next one, I am Boston from Boston Go 32 Gaming. Don't do what I do on LSLA. Follow the road rules and take care. Bye!